Hey guys, uh, just a short video for you here. Today I'm going to show you how to use switches in RPG Maker 2003. So, oops, wrong um, as you can see, the door is locked. If I go over here, hit the button, and now the door is open, I can go in here and I can get the item from the treasures. And now I have the item. So, we're going to break this down. So basically, um, so let's break this down. So here's the switch. What you want to do is um, set the graphic to one of these buttons facing down. That will be the unpressed switch. Then uh, open up a second page, set it to facing left, which will be the pressed on switch. Alright, go back to page one, insert, switch operations, turn on, single switch, and then select a switch, name it uh, what you want it to be. I would do, I'm going to name this one door open. So you want to turn that on, okay? Like, you don't have to do it twice, I just already opened it. Um, then you go back to the second page, check the switch box, set it to, make sure it's the same switch you had over here, so door open again, and you click OK. Next you go over here. See it's the door, the closed door. Uh, you can type in a message like, it's locked, or you can just leave that, that's fine. So you set it to the door. Um, then you do a second page, new page, page two. Um, you have a switch to door open, so that when you press the switch in, in the other place, and it turns on switch door open, then you set it to, so that it will teleport you if you go to the door. You can also set it so that it looks different. Um, if you want it to be like this open door area, you will have to set this one to the bottom half and you'll have to set this one uh, once again with the switch door open to the top half of the open door because it's in two sections even though the closed door is only in one. So yeah, anyway. So that's how you set it with the door. Um, you can have it so that it's touched by hero, in which case you have to have it the same layer as hero. Technically, I think you can have it below hero, but that often doesn't work for me. So, um, or you can have it action key, in which case it works best to have uh, same layers here as well. So then you create a second map, uh, whatever you want to be beyond the door. Um, make sure that you have the teleport so that if you go down here through the door you can get back into the first area. Um, so yeah, at an event, add the teleport, make sure it's to the right place. Uh, again, I did touch by hero, same layer as hero, but you can do it with the action key and you can even have an actual door there. Alright, now I'm going to talk about the chest opening and getting the item. So for that, what you want to do is set the graphic to a closed chest on page one. Then on page two, you've got your switch chest open on, and you set the graphic to an open chest. All right, on page one, you want it to be set to action key, same layer as hero, switch operations turn, uh, single switch chest open turn on, so that way you turn it on, so then when you hit the action key, you have the open chest. Um, you want to then uh, have a message that says what item you got. In my case, you got a Pokeball. And then you want to add the item that you got. So add item, specific item, Pokeball, fixed amount, one. And yeah, so that's pretty much the, just the very basics with the, uh, with switches in RPG Maker the switch, go through the open door, open the chest, you got a Pokeball, check your items, there's a Pokeball. Okay, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.